I mentioned what we have done in Kano, and that's exactly what we want to do with a lot of improvement based on our practical uh, experiences. Infrastructure, especially roads, because roads were specifically mentioned here. And I think today I am in a better position to talk about Nigeria roads even more than the Commissioner or Minister of uh, Works. Because I don't think Minister of Works, even when he stood for all this, uh, I think he is there for how many years now, getting to eight years. I don't think he covered half what I have covered in the last four months. Because I went around from villages to towns and to cities. I have been the updated infrastructure that we have in this country. And the biggest problem leaders are having is that they always stay in their comfort zone. If you are just at the dream or city room, or even going to start capitals for rallies in the air, eating the best food in the aircraft, London in the capital, maybe the governor is even from your party, they will come to the airport and bundle you there and take you straight to either government house or to the stadium. You don't know what is happening. And that's why when you say the beds, roads are bad, they say, oh, they are opponents. When you say the economy is very bad, they will call us all sorts of names. But that is the reality. Meaning, most of these leaders are living in the air. While we are on the ground, talking to the people, understanding their issues. So, on the roads, is there in our manifesto or blueprint. What we intend to do, because we are not in a hurry to go and borrow money and be given these contracts. We believe that there are people, based on our experiences, that are strong enough in this country with a lot of equipments. There were contractors before. Now there is no contract, almost zero, from any of these governments, not even from private sector. So many of our equipments are there packed, doing nothing. So we intended to organize our contractors. For example, you can take contractors from here in the southwest and look at the roads on, uh, here in the southwest or elsewhere in the country. Bring them together, organize them, support them, and give them some roads. And of course, with good leadership of the companies themselves, a lot can be produced by our local contractors. And that we are going to do it under the arrangement of BOT or BOOT, which is known to many people in this country. And we believe that that will help the contractors, will help the people flying the roads, and of course, we will help our economy. Certainly, under that arrangement, there will be some few. Uh, places where money will be collected for maintenance and payment of those roads.